Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, been a while since the last time, still haven't managed to take it for a run. Just started up just to give you an idea what sounds on idle. Um, not much has really happened uh, due to um, a lot of uh, work commitments. Anyway, the last time I was talking about, uh, I was going to re replace the Ten buckles on the steering. Um, these are not FLM uh, front arms. These are uh, actually Roman ones. They only give you an over inch overall on the front, not like two inches of FLM. Anyway, you get a the front arm package with everything, but they don't give you no ten buckles. They say to use your original ones um, for that type of steering, which is my. Uh, well, it's one and a half turns of thread is going into the standard turn buckles. Okay, so if we put the original ones. This is the original turn buckles I had. You see the difference in size. Okay, so the new ones and lengthwise only 100 mils that work spot on. Probably um, you can get to 95. Uh, I went 100. Um, it worked on. Um, perfect actually to get me steering right okay so the way it was set up before one half turn threads in yeah it wouldn't take much to pull out and, and I would have had no steering so that's why I haven't taken it anywhere um yeah all good so basically the setup so I run the 10 mil um uh, shocks top top thing they run a full length stroke. Okay, so that's a whole idea with the shock tower that you can fully adjustable, which is an FLM copy what they've done. Okay, that's the perfect spot there. On the rear, uh, yeah, full stroke. I don't have to run limited straps on it. Um, I still got play in my uh, dog bones. Um, Total RC, um, you don't run the grub screws on them there. They're full floating pins on those shafts, so you won't get any coil bind or, uh, I mean, uh, the bones are um, snagging like I did once upon a uh, well, before anyway. So, yeah, all good. Um, yeah, so, I've, I've, like, I finally got hold of the heavy duty rear. Uh, springs the red ones um, they were hot, so hard they're always out of stock all the time um, look your, your red springs on the front they will go on to the, the Roman uh, 10 mil arm shocks um, on the rear guys uh, unless you chip the paint away and do a bit of die grinding they will not fit straight on um, on your rears okay so basically what I've done is this piece of adjuster, I actually put it in my little mini lathe. I took about a mil and a half on the diameter off, so the uh, coil springs go on. And that section down there, um, yeah, so uh, machine that, so yeah, I've got no problems there. Nice, snug fit. Okay, so that's what you got to do if you're going to put the tail on. Um, red springs on especially on uh, on the road ones or on the rear that they seem to be thicker um yeah you got to do a little bit of machining to get them on the roman shocks okay so i was talking before just hang on a moment let me see Okay, um, last time we talked about the new ro Roman um, six and a half inch uh, rims that come out. Okay, um, I just brought them all, yeah, for show. Show to put them on, I'm using it. I probably won't really use it because I've got the um, uh, BRPs or uh, spikes. I've got them on the, um, on the other 5T. Um, the only problem what I found that the dish is not right. So what I've done is mock up a couple of, 
couple hubs that I made. So there's your BR, uh, BRP, whatever, total of hubs. Right, that's the ones that come with these wheels. So you, get, you see what I mean, the dish wise, it's not like the center's not in the middle of this, it's um, all the way out on the front. Okay, so I've done a uh, couple of them. I have them drill or tap them, we'll do the pins. Okay, so you can see the difference. In here, so it'll give me offset, um, give that stance look. I've done a smaller one, um, it's just a bit of scrap that's lying around at work, and done the bigger ones. So, probably most likely they might go on the front, and uh, the um, not as wide at the rear because I've already got the FLM arms that they're smaller to get in the front to. We practice the same track as the rear. I don't mind the track a little bit wider at the rear, but it's a bit of muck around. So yeah, guys. So as you see, um, fits in there. I'm gonna get it back out again. So a bit of muck around in the machine these. So, uh, we'll put it back the other way. So, so, as you see, I've got to drill and tap them. Um, M4, I think it is. Um, and drill for the pin, put the five mil pins in. Okay, so that way that'll get me where I want the wheels to sit. So I'm mucking around with the, the just normal aluminium the stuff. I've got uh, the real good, stronger stuff coming in, might be in this week. Um, yeah, so yeah, so with the turn buckles on the front, I ordered, uh, ordered um, some 12 mil hex aluminium. Um, so basically, before anything else is drill and tap, so you've got to do a reverse thread on one side um, and do your normal thread on the other side and just machine down and just like that spot there, so I can use a 12 mil spanner to. Just going to use the 10mm to lock up, lock up here. Okay, so yeah, that's all that all in front. Um, it's really about it. Um, yes, I'll come up with another idea, guys. You probably throw them out all the time. Just hang on a moment. Um, got a use of these uh, standard uh, rear drive cups. Okay, the other ones, the outboards, okay. Um, got worn ones, no good or whatever, don't throw them away. They're actually perfect for another uh, use, actually. So all you got to do is basically, um, let me see, is machine that section down, uh, down below, and convert it so you can have it on the, your front of your barger. Okay, um, you, you will, will have to shim it. Okay, oh, I'm just going to weld mine and machine it to the right specs so I don't have to shim it. Um, beauty better because if you run anything with a pin on the, on the front, it's normally no screw locking that pin, and you have a tendency on the front, the O ring tends to come off. Um, that's what I find. So, with these, you've got the screw on the back, same as on the rear, and then that way you can lock your pin in plus put the O-ring on, okay, so yeah, don't throw them out, they you can use them, they're reused for the front, so you can put all your different wheel extenders on the front, so what you run on the rear and whatever, you can put them on the front, whatever you want to do, okay, the beauty about it is that you've got the screw to lock the pin, and the only thing I'll do in the shown in that, I'll be drilling out that the 5 mil. alright, so, yeah, guys, just a just a quick one. Uh, what's happening? Um, yeah, no, awesome. Um, yeah, right, guys, I'm out. Just a quick one, just to show where I'm up to in that. And uh, yep, yeah, see you next time.